Hey everybody, I'm Kishner Tom here again with Mr. John Self. Today we're at Disney Springs once again. And this time we're actually gonna go over the top um, happy hours here at Disney Springs that you can visit. The happy hours are during the week. Um, some of them are just Monday through Thursday, but many of them start at noon. The one we're about to go to starts even earlier than that because well, you can insert whatever cultural inappropriate joke you'd like to about a culture that drinks too much, <laughs> but theirs starts at 11. Um, Go figure. I just want to say, <laughs> um, and then some of them are very specific and we'll get to those. And some of them involve food, which is why I know about them. And most of them involve just lower beverages. And quite frankly, if you're someone who consumes alcohol while you're on vacation, which I totally understand, you know it's, you're looking at 15, 16, 17, sometimes 20 bucks just to get a drink. Happy yes. hour, the drinks may not be that same quality, but at least you're paying, what are we looking at? Six bucks for one. Yes, so join us as we tour around Disney Springs, hitting some happy hours. Our first stop is Raglan Road, where they have a happy hour from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, domestic beers. This is the size. I think it's a, that's a solid pint, right? Maybe? Is that 16? I nah. am so bad at judging this. That, just... So they do offer small, medium, large, he asked. I, I said I want the happy hour special so whatever size this is it's probably small uh, maybe 12 I'm, I'm guessing that's a 12 ounce already made uh, already implied my inappropriate cultural comment <laughs> so i can't say anything and they have premium well liquor for six dollars so there you go you can come here uh they have outside seating which is nice outside bar so uh and this is a yingling so the yingling yes it's okay. very very tasty yummy yummy what's next on the hit list john uh, probably house of blues oh, or yes. jock Lindsay's. yes yes we also just ate lunch, uh, STK, their lunch burger. That's another video that you can check out on the video or on the channel, KJS Podcast. Uh, since we just did that, we'll probably just go to House of Blues first and have another beverage because I'm not ready for that pretzel. And you better believe if we're going to Jock Lindsay's, we're getting that pretzel with the uh, happy hour discount. Yummy, yummy. So stay tuned for that. That's to come. But first, House of Blues. All right, our next stop, the House of Blues. Their happy hour is... Open to 5 p.m. So that begs the question, what time 11. do they open? They open at 11, Monday through Thursday. So Fridays, if you're on a Friday, sorry, you're out of luck. So let's go inside the House of Blues and see what they have. All right, the House of Blues. We're sitting at the bar. I got the $6 Long Island iced tea. They, their happy hour has $2 off all bottled and canned beer. $5 off private label wines and well liquors and $6 margaritas and Long Island iced teas. So I got the $6. Seems like the $6 drink is uh, standard here for the happy hour. Yep. As far as the Long Island iced tea goes, I'll be honest with you, he made this very quickly. Saw that. I think it's pre made. I don't think this is, I don't, he's not mixing a bunch of uh, liquors together. And theme parks do like to do the pre made phenomenon. Yeah, so if you're looking for a bartender to do his magic on a Long Island iced tea, do not expect it here. Uh, it's a pre-made mix that he just oh, threw your Long Island iced tea might be twelve dollars. Yes, this is a six dollar happy hour version. Which um, there were at least one other person at the bar who was not there now who was also drinking it. So I'm sure it's a popular uh, drink. All told, though, for six bucks, yeah, pretty good. So this one's down. Um, next is probably Jock Lindsay's. Uh, so we're about to get food. We're about to get a big pretzel that is discounted at Jock Lindsay's. So um, prepare your stomachs, everyone. It's about time. But let me knock out this Long Island iced tea and we will be on our way. All right, the next stop, uh, I've gone here before and I wasn't gonna go here because I felt like the last time I came here for the happy hour, I was disappointed in it. And this one is Paradiso 37, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and 9 to 11. They have a $7, you get P37 lager or Bud Light for $7. And look at the size of this one. This is most certainly a much smaller pour than at uh, Raglan Road, yep. for $6. At Hole in the Wall, technically, but you're right. Yeah, Hole in the Wall. So I, I didn't like this before, and now I know why exactly. And it's because of the pour. It's a dollar more and you get less. Now this is the P37 lager. It only includes P37 and Bud Light. So uh, if you like uh, beer, you probably don't want the Bud Light. 
but <laughs> that's a social commentary on my behalf. Let me taste this. Very good locker. Very good. I've never eaten here. Have you tried the food here? <laughs> I'm assuming that licking your lips is not a, a, a sign of approval. <laughs> the food is good here. But it's priced very high, steep. Well, I just, um, I'm trying to be nice because he caught me off guard. <laughs> if I were going to write a weakest table service, five, weakest five table service dining restaurants in Disney Springs, this would be on the list. This would be on the five. Okay, yeah. You have many options, and as you're about to find out uh, watching this video, there are many happy hour options. So. Uh, if the hours are convenient for this place, by all means, you know. But honestly, the price per ounce, I don't think it's, I, I think you go to another establishment here outside of happy hour and you still get the price, same price per ounce as you're getting here with their happy hour. Uh, I don't think I agree, but I think we're debating percentage points here. We're not debating. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it is a happy hour price beverage. However, you are not saving that much compared to other places. Here, ounces. yes. Yes. If you're buying a drink, this beverage outside happy hour, yes, you're gonna pay more. Right. Depending on what order Tom edits this and puts this in. <laughs> this is gonna be the order we do it. This so. is clearly the weakest so far. Yes. If you want to be here between 11 and 4 p.m. or 9 and 11, 11 p.m. Uh, it is a quote-unquote happy hour, but again, I'm not so certain that uh, we'll be as happy as maybe some other places on property. <laughs> but let me finish this, and then let's go to Jock Lindsay's. In my opinion, one of my favorite happy hour spots, or just any time to go get a beverage and uh, sit along the water here at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar. Absolutely love this location. Me forgetting about the fact that it's uh, Indiana Jones themed just it is a cool place to go so let's go inside and check out their happy hour the one unique thing about this place is that you seat yourself but it's bar uh but even the tables you seat yourself so let's go outside i've always sat outside i've never even though there's a ton of theming in here which is absolutely glorious uh i've always sat outside along the water and i'd like to do so now so you want to go and try to see if we can get a seat? This is your video. It seems very popular. Oh, this place would be cool too, but it's dirty. Let's see. So uh, the only downside to Jock Lindsay's I, I have found in my experience is uh, even though, well, because I guess you seat yourself, huh? there's no guarantee that the waitress or waiter who was stationed to you is going to come to you anytime soon. Uh, I've sat here many times where it's literally been over 20 minutes before I've seen anybody come get us. Although I have noticed this boat gets better service than the tables over. I can see that. My limited experience, so we'll see. Now the birds, they come and clean up for you. So if you leave any food behind, you can uh, make sure they uh, eat. Oh, oh, they're angry at each other. But uh, let's get some, oh, there we go. Happy hour stuff. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's a bad closing to this part, but yeah. Let's wait for our waitress and see what their food we can get. All right, uh, we talked to the bartender or the waiter, I suppose. They have a Jock's Visiting Brew for $7.50. I was gonna get that, but they're out of it. And the only other beer they have for happy hour is a it won't, Bud Light. So uh, I'm not interested in drinking a Bud Light. So I'm getting a rum and Coke. Uh, the well drinks are approximately $6. So we'll see what it ends up being. I guess the prices vary. I asked for a mojito and that really, they, they're basically their drinks would be, ah, thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. Basically their drinks would be um, more in line with simple drinks so a mojito wouldn't fall on that. So I wanted for the purpose of this video only to get stuff part of the happy hour. So this would be part of the happy hour. So we got that and the pretzel. Air Pirates Pretzel for $8. It's a giant pretzel. I've had this before. Giant pretzel with spicy German mustard. So uh, it's very good. The only thing is, uh, I don't know if you see the birds here, uh, they have gajones because they don't mind coming up and taking your food right from underneath you. So with a big pretzel that's hanging off a thing, John and I will have to make sure 
we uh, have our eyes open because those birds will come and snatch it right up from under us. Ah, thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. It's like a Leaning Tower of Pisa. Look at that. My rum and coke has just been arrived, or just uh, just arrived. So that looks good. That cup is cool. All right. I mean, I would purchase these for my house. For your house? Okay. Don't you think that's a cool cup? It's at an angle. No? Well, tell me how cool it is after you finish that beverage. <laughs> It'd be even cooler. Okay. Here we go. Look at that cup. That's pretty cool. Very good rum and coke. I ordered rum and coke, so it's a wow liquor, so I'm sure it's the most generic rum they can buy. But very good. You're mixing it with a Diet Coke. They don't have Coke Zero, so that was sad. Like I said, they, they, they were out of the uh, beer, so that's also sad. At least they have the pretzel. Uh, when that comes, we will certainly dig in. All right, here it is. The ginormous pretzel, $8 pretzel. Look at that. That, would, would you say this is a value, John? Because I, I think so, right? I mean, $8? This, this is a value, but I can tell you when I had this last year, this is smaller. Ooh, really? Because I had it before, too. And I can't be certain. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's do it. Now, the key here, look, look at the birds. This is like uh, Alfred Hitchcock over here. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's dig in with no time to waste. I should point out that it comes with both a spicy mustard and a queso dip that you can uh, dip into and enjoy. Very good pretzel. If you choose to get the um, queso dip with chips, this pretzel goes well with that queso dip also. Oh. It's, it's superior. It's a different queso? All right. And with the rum and coke? Glorious. I will admit, when I hold this cup, I kind of want to tilt it to make yes, it even. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I almost so. dropped your drink taking a photo of it. <laughs> so that is the downside to having a cup that's slanted that way. You want to auto correct, so yeah, don't do that. Whatever you do. All right, that was the Jock Lindsay's hanger bar. The final piece. Not one scrap got to a bird, so we did a very good job. You did a fine job. Yes. I crush those birds. Crush them. On the regular menu here at the Indiana Jones inspired <laughs> bar, they have Obi-Wan wings, chicken wings. So I'm going to ask the professional food blogger to justify this. Here we go. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. It's Happy now 12 and 3. 12 and 3. It's now 314. So happy hour is over. Monday through Friday, 12 to 3. Jock Lindsay's hangar bar. All right, we are here oh, for the STK happy hour. And it is Monday through Friday, 3 to 6.30. We got the STK mule, which is $9 for happy hour. I am uncertain as to what it is normally. I would suspect anywhere between 12 and 15. Would you say that's fair? Yeah. yeah. So that's definitely a discount. We also got the uh, falafel and the short rib quesadilla. So uh, it's three dollars and six dollars. So once those come out, we'll take a look. But uh, I'm sure the um, STK mule is very good. I can tell you for sure it's not pre-made. He made it <laughs> by hand. It wasn't a pre-mix. So hallelujah for that. Let me get a sip. Oh yeah, very very good. The falafels came out there. There's four of them. I ate two of them, unfortunately. I totally forgot about it. Uh, very good. Very spicy. Tastes very, very good. And for three dollars, uh huh. There I say, a very good value for happy hour. Yeah. Yeah. I had one of the um, short rib quesadillas, which was good. But for me, the falafel is the clear winner of the two. The, uh, the, the short rib quesadillas. It's six dollars as opposed to this is three. Uh, so, what's your opinion of the uh, falafel? Uh, falafel is well prepared. Good ingredients. I just don't like the the, the pepper? pepper on top. Interesting. Brings spice, but no real flavor. Okay. So I was looking for a little more flavor. Uh, is the pepper the providing the spice? Yes, most of it. Really. So you eat this piece right here, there's no spice in it? Or very little? Pretty confident. Well, okay, let's try that, because I, I don't believe that for a second. Because the amount of spice that comes off of this screams that it's the out outer crust, not that one pepper. Oh, 
I would give that falafel to anyone and not be concerned about the spice. Really? Yep. Wait, you're saying you that's remarkable. I'm surprised by that. Now, I'm not trying for your viewers. I'm not trying to indicate the quality of it. May I have this? Go right ahead. Uh, no, no, not the fluff. I just want this. You go for it. I want to see. Oh, yeah. That is very spicy. I, the spice level is nice. It goes with fluff really well. I just don't, I'm, I like spice, but I like flavor with it. I know I'm circling back to Prince um, Maricachina and places like that. There's a, there's a sweetness to it. It's very, very spicy, but yeah, there is definitely a sweetness. Yes. I think it does bring some back. But I am shocked that all that spice is coming from that one pepper. You want to have half of one and see. Actually, I do because... But you can have a whole one, I mean... No, no, by all means. I hate to admit it. You hate to admit that the food vlogger is correct. <laughs> Okay. I can understand where that might be hard to believe the food blogger can evaluate yeah. food. No, no. Pepper that's out. very good. It is very good. And with the pepper, I love it. I think it's I think it's excellent. The pepper, I cannot believe that pepper is as spicy as it was. Yeah, that's good. So this is good, because now if you get this order, you don't like spice, just push it to the side, eat yeah. it. Someone who likes spice, eat it yeah. with it, and you're golden. Yeah, uh, either way, the happy hour version of this, I mean, I don't know what it is. Off? Half hour? This is the only way to get it. Bro, oh, 100% worth $3. Oh, yeah. I would get like four orders of these and just, this would be what I'd do. Yeah, so good. Now, I'm very curious to see what you think of the case Because me, it's a mixed bag. It's okay, but the, the falafel really is the winner here. Especially for the price point. All right. All right, so we added my second one. John had two. Your opinion of the short rib um, quesadillas? Um, at first, I think they're a good bar food for this setting yeah the presentation was good yeah um the contents were good yeah they just didn't blow me away yeah uh the fluffle definitely yeah the fluffle was impressive a stand out yes yes and especially for three dollar price point that's correct i would definitely get two falafels over one of them and we do need to make a point that these come appetizer portion yes so it's not like that let's put on pick on uh, skipper canteen where they have the one entree where it gives you five yeah how yeah. do you split five on sharing <laughs> four is much easier to work with. yes so that's stk it is monday through friday 3 to 6 30 p.m uh highly recommend like i said the falafel forget about it it's so good so good uh the cocktails like i said they're nine dollars so they're a little bit more pricier on the happy hour uh, end of things you could definitely get cheaper cocktails elsewhere but i would come in and uh Get the falafel, nothing else. My lord, that's super good. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not sure where we're going next, but uh, stay tuned. Terralina, crafted Italian happy hour on the go. So you can uh, go home with it. I don't know what that means. I probably just need to put you in Disney Springs. You can stay in Disney Springs. Yeah, stay in Disney Springs. Beer and wine specials, you have to scan it uh, from 4 to 6 p.m. daily. Oh, so this is weekend. I'm not aware of it being weekend, but if it is, we'll find that out for you. Yeah, we will find out because it does say daily. Um, outside bar to go only. Does that mean we can't order and drink? Well, there are. We can order right here and sit over here, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem like a problem. All right, well, let's do it. Let's uh, get in this queue and see what we can do. All right, Tarantina. It is, we did confirm, it is seven days a week. What was it three to six or no? Four to six? Four to six. Sorry. Four to six, yeah, no worries. Four to six, seven days a week, so that's cool. 650 drafts. It is a bottle. So what's a bottle? 16? Yeah, a bottle's a pint, right? No. It's a bottle of beer. 12? I think it's 12. I think it's 12. Okay. So yeah, she poured this a bottle into the cup. So even though the cup looks small. So maybe uh, I'm giving um, the other place a hard time. Maybe. This cup doesn't look that much bigger. It's not. But Raglan Road definitely had a bigger cup. Yeah. Right? Outdoor bar, yes. Yeah, so I think maybe that was a pint and these are 12. I think you're right. Uh, so what's next, John? Is there another one? Uh, you said... In theory, we have Haleo. Haleo. If we're going to be a bit brave, but I've never... I have no knowledge of how that works. All right. Well, for you, my followers, and the people who are about to subscribe, I will go and see how that works for you. So let me finish Estella. And to Haleo we go. All right, we weren't planning on making a stop, 
but uh, there are happy hour specials, 4 to 7 p.m. It's currently 5, Stargazer's Lounge. So let's see what they have. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything, but for, for completeness, let's at least go and see what they have to offer. All right, Stargazers. They have um, $5 draft beer, which is a full 12 ounce pour. $5 well liquor and what was the wine? $5 wine or 50% off? I think it's 50% off. 50% off wine. So yeah, I don't want that. But so far, I think this is the best value as far as beer goes. We'll see. You haven't tasted it yet. I have tasted it. Is it good? And it tastes like, this is a Blue Moon. Okay. That's why I didn't want okay. it there. Well, yeah, no, it's a, it's a uh, full uh, blown Blue Moon. Um, Big fan of Blue Moon, but yeah. And we weren't, this wasn't on the list. This was not on the We were walking by and I saw it's. I knew it existed, but I lowered it in a priority. It's, um, what was it four to seven Monday through Friday? Four to seven Monday through Friday. Four to seven Monday through Friday, $5 draft. Uh, arguably a $6 bottle may Maybe. be better just because of the carbonation. You're right. making sure the bottle, you get your guaranteed quality, whereas draft, Depending on, you know, the CO2 could be jacked up. Who knows? But um, I'd say $5 for a full draft. Can't beat it. Mm -hmm. And the location, I, you know, I've never been to Stargazer, Stargazers. So it's a nice environment. And in case three times a year, it's actually chilly. you got heaters. Our final stop on the um, happy hour Disney Springs tour is Haleo. They have a happy hour that runs... Sangria hour from four to six. Four to six, sangria hour. Sang sangria, oh my God. See, sangria. see how we're not gonna go much farther, everybody? Oh, sangria. I'm not sure why sangria is a tough word for me to say. Sangria hour from four to six, but they do have beer, so. And they have tapas. Uh, so I'm not sure what we're gonna get yet. John is not familiar with this one, so it's exciting because it's an unchartered territory for both of us. I never actually stepped through these doors. Oh, this place is great. So, But bring your wallet. Oh, well, luckily we're going to the happy hour, so. Okay. Hoorah! All right, so let's go inside, get seated, and see what we can have for happy hour. Uh, sangria hour, here we go, from four to six daily. Um, they have a frozen sangria. They do a beer. Mm, would you care for, would you like to get a tapa? Have you had a tapa before? There's a tapas there, but I'm. This is this is Haleo. Tapas is never a bad move. All right, we'll we'll leave it to him to pick the ones. Because honestly, I just offend him. But if I try to announce any of these, but I'll try the again the lager. I guess. <laughs> that lager. Am I am I copping out with the lager and not going with the sangria? Well, um, I'm not mean to judge you, but it does say sangria hour. So I should get a sangria. Your call if you're trying to do apples to apples, probably not fair. I guess I could ask how big the logger is just for sake of comparison. Yeah, all right, let's get sangria and a top of the heat. All right, so we ended up, I get, I end up getting a sangria uh, roja, which is red, I believe. In you mean rojo, rojo, uh, la something. Um, he says it's very good, seven dollars. Uh, the glass, he thinks it's a 10 ounce pour for the beer. Comes in a long skinny glass. Oh, actually, it's this glass right here. It comes in that. So, whatever that pour is, you think it's 10. So, it might be slightly less than what we get at other places, but it's pretty comparable. Uh, we're getting the what top uh, tap are we getting? The bottom one? You mean the Bravas? The, yeah, is that the one we're getting? Here? Yeah, the, I think so. Yeah. Fried potatoes with spicy tomato sauce and alaya. Huh? An aioli. A lay. Aioli. <laughs> that's why I don't say. Right, my friends. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. So that's what we're getting. So uh, when it comes out, we will see. But it's bound to be delightful, I'm sure. Uh, All right, there we go. We got them. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a video of it pre-mixed. The um, bartender suggested that we mix it to get the full flavor. I did that. I do have a photo of it before it was mixed, so I'll put that in here so you can see what it looks like. The presentation when it's uh, given to us. 
absolutely fantastic. Uh, their potatoes, of yeah, course, so the a lot of sauce. Oh my lord, very, very good. I thoroughly enjoy. Sean has yet to partake, but uh, I will get his opinion here uh, momentarily. But oh man, for five dollars, uh, a good happy hour option for sure. All right, John, what you got there, buddy? God, they taste like potatoes, bravos. So that's a good thing. I, I think it's very good with the um, sangria. Is a perfect mix. You mean getting a sangria and and a Spanish tapas at a Spanish restaurant is a good idea? I, uh, you know, it seems insane to say, but I think it's true. <laughs> All right. Mexican food. This is no. Food. Yes. Yeah. There is definitely a distinction there. A very good. Um, I think the sagiri was seven. The tapas was five. So the happy hour bill, twelve bucks uh, before tip and taxes. Uh, not too bad. So let's eat these and then we'll give our final thoughts of the entire day. What do you think? Well, we um, need to think about it. We need to process. I'll, what, work, I'll work on my dissertation and get back to you. <laughs> what the best and worst. Uh, options were. So like I have an idea for the worst. And I have an idea for the best. So stay tuned and we'll tell you what we think. All right, that was Haleo. Very good. Great way to wrap up the day. It was uh, very good. Very good. Uh, with a 12 bucks or something. I'll say 12 by. bucks plus tax. Plus tax and, and tip. tip. Yeah, so I mean, you walk in that place, according to John at least, <laughs> it's very expensive. <laughs> so, get, getting in there during happy hour is a great way to try it without right. spending. For those of you unaware, the this is Jose Andres restaurant. Jose Andres, an incredible humanitarian who has done more work for providing food for the poor than anybody probably on the planet these days. But he is a premier chef, and you will be paying for the premier chef. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you, at the tapas was uh, top notch very good but let's talk about uh, overall uh, the hits and misses of the day uh, I think we agree that the um, what was the number one item the three dollar <laughs> yeah, the food item yeah the food item the falafel yeah oh, yes happy hour uh, STK falafel for three dollars get four of them very spicy if you eat the pepper with it uh, I like the pepper but you can eat it without it so good do you agree that's probably your best happy hour uh, menu I option? I couldn't believe it was that good. I think overall, I mean, drink or yep. food, that was the best value. Yep. I Three dollars, STK, uh, falafel, forget about it, uh, top notch. Alcohol wise, not the best value. No, uh, but we didn't expect it to be. No, uh, I guess Stargazers would be your best at five dollar draft. It was a all I've ever heard about Stargazers is it's boring and the, and the beers were watered down, but Tom evaluated it and maybe, maybe Stargazers, sorry, reference for some of you, maybe Stargazers is like Jesus, they saved the best one for the end, maybe not, I don't know, I'm just saying. Well, I got a Blue Moon, that was a draft, and it was, uh, it tastes like a Blue Moon. I mean, it could have possibly been watered down. You, you are my evaluator, so it's yeah, all so on you. I can't tell that was watered down. For $5, it was definitely the cheapest by a dollar. Mm -hmm. And it ranged, our, the drafts ranged from $5 Stargazers up to, so $7.50 was the highest. And, uh, or actually, I guess $7.50 was the highest price, but the amount per ounce may have fluctuated because I do think Paradiso 37 may have had a higher price at a smaller uh, yes. pour. So, that, that could have been possible without knowing exactly what the size of the cup was. It's hard to say. It just seemed like a very small pour. Second best value would be uh, Raglan Row. Yes. So the, the $6 and the, yeah, the hole in the wall, that was a big glass, so or plastic cup as it were. Uh, I think that was good too. So I think you can't go wrong. I'll put the totals of what I spent today uh, right here so you can see how much uh, we spent on happy hour. And put in the comments you feel bad for how much he spent today. Just go from there, okay? <laughs> well, I mean, compared to what I could have spent if I wasn't in happy hour, I think I did a pretty good job in savings. So I, I, I think we couldn't have fed both of us at homecoming for what what you spent today. Yes, yeah, and I, I had a lovely day. It was a beautiful day here at uh, Disney Springs. So I thank you, uh, John, uh, for touring me around all the uh, happy hours and. 
please put in the notes if there are happy hours that we missed because I will most certainly come back. You know me. I'll come back and try them if there's one that we missed. I'm sure there's something somewhere that we missed that uh, happy hour that we didn't hit today. I'll come back and do a review of it for sure. But um, I think that's it. Is there anything else you want to add to our beautiful Disney Springs Day? No, I have to take you take you back to the condo and, yes. and let you sit down and record a podcast. Yeah, we're actually going to do a podcast next. So. <laughs> it ought to be a good one. So listen to Vacation Air State Park some more podcast. Uh, wherever you stream your podcast, go find that today and listen to us. John's in almost every, ep almost every episode nowadays. But I've heard Joanna said that I was slacking, so I couldn't be in the episodes anymore. <laughs> so be sure yeah, if you listen to the yeah, podcast, yeah. you're going to hear that a lot in the next one. <laughs> now I'm going to get that in 15 times because I actually listen to the podcast. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so please do me a favor. Like and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate Vacation Air's podcast. It really helps out. And uh, you know, I really like to get to a thousand subscribers. So uh, that's my goal and I'm trying to put out content. And if there's anything that you'd like me to do here, I mean, I live in Orlando, so I'm more than happy to come out here. If there's something you'd like to see uh, video wise, you know, put it in the comments or send me an email, vacationerspodcast at gmail.com. I will do it for you because I care that much. Just do me a favor and like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Of course, John Self on Twitter at Pastor John Self. You can follow him. He's on piratesandprinces.net. He's at Attractions Magazine. Is that Attractions? Attractions.com? I the believe it's, it's, URL? Attra at attraction, it's attractionsmagazine.com. Yeah, I, I, Attractions is a pretty big deal, so I think you probably know that. If you're watching this, you probably know it's right. I just think. to clarify, they let me write stuff and sometimes cover stuff. Oh, they, they, <laughs> on the kindness of their hearts, they let him yes. cover some stuff. So you can check them out as well. But uh, I think that's it for now. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And if you had a good time, like I said, please like and subscribe. Otherwise, have yourselves a glorious day. Keep making memories. And as always, eat like you mean it. Booya! So which was a better deal, the cookie or the beer? Same price. Oh, you're right. It was the same price. And neither are good for you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pocket this cup. Don't tell anybody from Jock Lindsay's. I'm bringing it with me. And of course, we got wires. I can always say, I say this in every video, make sure you hydrate, especially if you're having alcoholic beverages or soda, John, because soda also dehydrates you. Caffeine. You know, studies have learned that's not true, but we'll go with that another time. Wow. Well, you know, we shouldn't discourage people from drinking water. So No, water is great. Chocolate. I have water. Yes. There you go. See ya? But even I, if you're I'm drinking... I'm just touchy on facts. <laughs> yeah. He's a writer, so... Oh, facts, facts. Facts are important. Sorry. I do everything in video, so facts are not necessary. John uh, holds my cup for me. I don't like it sitting on the dirty table, so thank you, John. Appreciate that. Notice my, my very expensive camera and phone. No, no. <laughs> Those can sit at the table, but not up here. So, yeah. so everything's $6 here. That's three sixes today that we did, so mm -hmm. we make sure we get a fourth one to offset the evil. No, uh, more bad eschatology. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Vacationeers Podcast YouTube channel. Please subscribe if you enjoy our content and ring the bell to receive notifications when new videos are released. Please like our Facebook page, Vacationers Theme Parks and more. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Vacationers Podcast. If you'd like to enjoy more of our content, listen to our podcast, Vacationers Theme Parks and more. It can be found on most streaming platforms. And lastly, I would like to thank everyone who has either subscribed or follow us on social media. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you and keep making memories.